Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine here today and, and uh, yesterday. It's been nice to get a little sun here in the middle of October. Um, this week, we're going to really have quite the focus on housing data that's been coming out lately, and then a little bit of a peek at uh, PCE inflation numbers that actually come out tomorrow. My name is Brandon Steele, financial advisor with Mainsail Financial Group here in Bellevue. And our goal every Thursday is to bring to you the market news, the data, the trends we're watching, and hopefully weed out a bit of the noise along the way. Uh, again, this week is going to be maybe a little bit shorter. We've got a lot of housing data that we'll touch on, uh, some retail sales data, and then a preview at inflation. But otherwise, we'll skip the question of the week. And then this week has been a little bit lighter on the newsworthy data. So um, so it will be a little shorter week this week. But, uh, but again, housing uh, data is certainly in the the forefront here this past week. Uh, we had housing starts come out about in line with expectations, slightly up from last month. Uh, we had building permits about in line uh, and again, slightly uh, at slightly down from last month. And then today we had existing home sales slightly um, down, but, uh, but still slightly better than expectations. So that is a lot of slightly, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Let me maybe summarize the housing data over the last week by saying it is a bit, um, a bit two-sided. Um, I don't know that there's a lot to really take away from any of this. There's definitely some good and some bad, uh, but none of it was significantly good or bad. So let's just call it, you know, pretty, uh, pretty in line with with expectations here for this this past month. Uh, we also did have retail sales numbers come out. So U.S. retail sales were up 0.7 percent this past month. This is very big. Uh, this is much, much different than expected. Uh, very big number for retail sales. So that is maybe the most noteworthy data point over this past week or so. Uh, but coming up, we do have a lot of, of inflation numbers that we want to kind of, you know, spend some time on, maybe share with you my thoughts ahead of it. Um, before that, we also did have initial jobless claims come out today, and they did come down quite a bit this week. Uh, so that might be why we're seeing markets down a little bit today is, uh, you know, a little bit of concern around the Fed's next move, which will tie in obviously a lot for the biggest thing that we've got coming up next week, which is going to be PCE, um, another, you know, measure of inflation uh, that comes out tomorrow. But we also have GDP next week as well. So again, PCE data comes out tomorrow, Friday. Uh, and, you know, it'll be really interesting to see what comes out of that, because this is obviously a big data point, focal point for the Fed in their next decision. Um, but, you know, I, I do think it's very likely that we see another higher number here. Uh, maybe not than expected, but certainly than many expected a couple months ago, right? Uh, we have definitely seen, you know, energy prices continue. We've seen some challenges around some of the commodities. So very likely that we see that, that number higher than it was expected a ways back. Um, not expecting anything out of, you know, out of, out of the norm necessarily, but I know that the talk has been that inflation is going to keep coming down and we're all on the right track. If for those who do, you know, tune in weekly, you probably know that we don't necessarily feel that same way. We feel like inflation might be a little stickier than, than many think. Uh, and we expect that to kind of show itself in our data points tomorrow. So we will see, obviously we'll cover the PCE data next Thursday. So be sure to tune in. Uh, but this week, we are going to skip our question of the week because we have our uh, town hall this evening for our clients. So uh, if you are a client, definitely uh, tune in this evening at 5 p.m. for a little bit more detailed version of a market update and kind of what we're watching heading into the end of the year. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Uh, be sure to tune in next Thursday, and we will kind of share a little bit more on the GDP and inflation front heading into the next Fed meeting.